Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from MoboxGraphics.com and this is gonna be, I'll be honest, a really exciting tutorial. I've been working on this for um, a few hours now and I think I have something really cool for you. So this is gonna be a number counter tutorial. I've done it a few different times. Um, I've done it with a view counter, I've done it with a loading bar, but this is gonna be the all-encompassing tutorial. And I encourage you to go become a supporter over on our Patreon account at the $3 level. You will be able to download the project file as well as this cool plugin that I created um, it's not really a plugin, it's just like a user preset. So you don't have to do any of these steps. You could just drag this right onto your number counter and it'll just work. So, um, and it'll give you way more features. So uh, I'm just gonna show you kind of the effect and preset that I created first, just so you can kind of see what that is in case you just wanna go over there, become a supporter and get the preset and not worry about the tutor tutorial. Um, otherwise, um, I'll show you kind of some ways to get uh, number counters in After Effects for free. So um, here we go, I'm just gonna create a text. I'm just gonna type Mobox there. Obviously it doesn't matter what you put because that's gonna become a number counter. So under my user presets here, I'm just gonna drag this Mobox number counter onto it. So what this does is now it gives you a number, a number of decimal places and a comma. So let's say you want this to be maybe 1500 and 25. Um, I could set two decimal places and it will automatically add my comma and it will just work. Now this can only go up to 999 million. I'll show you. Because if I go any farther than that, so if I had another nine, it doesn't quite work. And the reason is, is it has to do with adding these commas. Um, so it only goes up to 999 million um, for right now. So uh, another cool thing here, let's say I want this to be a, a one, just some number that looks close to a million. Um, and I want this to say like views, like so let's say I wanted this to be like a YouTube view counter. Um, I can go ahead and set the decimal place to zero and open up this text layer here. And under source text, I could add a prefix and a suffix. So I could add a suffix as views and it will add views to the end. Um, and alternatively, I can come in here and add a dollar sign into the prefix and we'll add a dollar sign and I could make this now to two. So what's great about this is you can animate this. So you can animate um, the point here. Let's say at one second, I want it, you know, my bank account to increase and it will increase, no problem. Um, and here's another tip. You want your text to be aligned on the left. If you make it aligned on, or you want it to be aligned on the right, if you make it aligned on the left, uh, maybe for dollars you want it to be aligned on the left, but for something like views here. If you have views and it's aligned on on the left, um, you'll see the views will bounce back and forth. Whereas if it's aligned on the right, it won't. So it just depends on how you want this to look. So um, yeah, if you want this, there's a big formula under here that uh, we won't go into too many details. If you want this easy to use, uh, use a preset, be sure to go to our Patreon account and become a subscriber over there. Um, so anyways, that's how this works. You could add a comma, you could remove a comma. It's up to you however, however you want it to look. So, okay, so let's just assume that you don't have any money and you don't want to support us on Patreon then I'll have you covered as well. So I'm just gonna um, write something here and um, I should probably make it a number just for the sake of you know having it be a number counter. So okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna search here for a slider control. Now you'll notice in my preset I used a point controller and the reason is that a, a slider control only goes up to a million. So you could do the same thing with a point controller, it's just a little bit different. But um, if you only need to go up to a million, then that's fine. And this will not show you how to add a comma. Adding a comma makes things significantly more, more difficult. So this will show you kind of how to add a percent sign towards the end or maybe a dollar sign in the front um, and just be kind of a general number counter. So um, what you could do here is you could open up this text layer to source text and in holding alt, clicking the stopwatch, it'll add, let you add an expression. And if you just drag this little pick whip here up to the slider control, you just linked this text so you're telling this source text layer to be whatever this slider controller is, which you can increase here, no problem. Now, if you're like me and you maybe wanna add a percent sign or a number sign towards the end, or maybe you wanna add views to the end, all you have to do is come in here and uh, type in dot value, who so are turning this into a value, two fixed, 
and this will tell me how many decimal places to put. So if I put zero, it will give me zero decimal places. The plus sign and then the, uh, you know, the quotation signs or the, um, for some reason, I can't think of what they're called right now. Um, and then and then a percent sign and there it gave me a percent sign. If you want to space in between the percent sign and the number, just add a space there. Otherwise, you could delete the space. So um, let's say I want to make this to two decimal places. I could just set fixed to two and only me two decimal places and I could do 540.50 and it will do that, no problem. Um, in addition, I could add something in the front. So I could add a dollar sign plus. So now I add a dollar sign and of course I could turn this to views and I can make that views. And all I have to do now is set a keyframe for the slider, come to one second, increase that and and it works just as you would expect a slider control to work. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is quick, but um, yeah, if you want to, if you want to download that, that effect and preset to get all of the features of it, um, including the, the fantastic, uh, uh, comma adding effect, uh, you definitely want to go and become a Patreon subscriber over at patreon.com slash mobox. And you can make number counters all day long. Just remember the prefix, prefix and suffix is here under the text source layer and to check this box if you want a comma. Now, I should also note that this does work in the negative. Uh, so no problems there. But again, it's limited to 999 million, 999,999 point, And this only goes up to 10. 999999999. So um, if that's something that you want to do, be sure to go check us out over there uh, and let us know in the comments down below if you have other types of tutorials you want to see on this channel. So I should probably show you how to add an effect and preset um, to, uh, to your folder. So if you do download this, go to Windows or Animation and you want to find out where After Effects is saved. So uh, mine is on my external drive documents, Adobe After Effects CC 2017 user presets. So, so if this is your Adobe document, um, After Effects 2017 user presets, and you could just save it right in there. Just drag it, put it right in there and you're good to go. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.